in this video let us see how do we inline a superclass and we will see also see a scenario in which you may want to inline a superclass so for this example let us uh, create a class named image which has uh, let's say three members called name path and type <coughs> let's create a constructor for the same it's a very simple example so now let's create a derived class for image called png image right so it extends the base class image now let's introduce a constructor for the same and we could use it right so you could call it as main class and psvm we could create an instance of the png image so new png image and give some uh, name let's say hello and then path is dot slash and uh, the type is uh, png right and let's print it out now if you observe this design underlying design png image could be an instance of the image class right with the type being passed whatever it is here right it could be replaced with uh, dot png right so you don't really need to have um, a derived class for the same rather by default you could have, have for example png as the type and we could inline this so that will be the refactoring for the same so this is confusing an instance uh, with the derived class so how do we inline the superclass so invoke the uh, refactor this context menu with control t and choose inline superclass and uh, inline and uh, inline all references and remove the class so you can see that now it has become png image class and uh, the type is automatically dot png and your uh, you know main method remains the same let's run this and make sure it is fine 